Hey everyone, thanks for taking a few moments to watch this video. We're covering the basics of prayer walking. What is it? Why is it important? And how can you be involved? Now for some of you, prayer walking is almost second nature at this point. You've either participated through a church or mission agency, or maybe while serving on a mission trip. And it might be that you've been doing prayer walking in your neighborhood or parts of the city because you love people and you believe in the power of prayer. So if you already participated in prayer walking, consider this video to be a quick reminder that what you're doing matters. Now, if you've never been involved in prayer walking, let me lay out the basics to get you up to speed. Prayer walking is praying on site with insight. Let me say that again. Prayer walking is praying on site with insight. So let's break that down. On site, that is you're praying in the area that you're asking God to bless or to move in. Maybe it's a neighborhood, downtown district, college campus, city block. You may be praying over a church property or in a business park or something like that. Praying on location allows you to see and feel and touch and smell and hear what's happening in that area. So praying with insight means that you're looking for visual clues as you walk. You're remaining sensitive to the promptings of God as you pray and you're praying over known needs in that area. You're praying on site, that is on location, with insight, greater understanding of the needs. So what's the goal of prayer walking? Well, the goal is very similar to intercessory prayer. We're praying on behalf of others and for others. So while praying over a community, we're seeking God's guidance and His mercy and blessings over the people and over the city. We're asking God to save the lost, to invigorate the saved, to impact the community with the gospel. We're also praying against enemy strongholds. That includes anything that keeps people from the knowledge of God and hurts human flourishing. We're praying with purpose. So what are some of the guidelines for prayer walking? Well, whether you're praying with a team, maybe a small group, two to four people, or you're praying by yourself, many of the same pieces apply. So if praying with a team, meet at a specific time and place. Start with prayer. Pray that God will give you discernment to see what He sees, empathy to feel what He feels, and focus to pray effectively as you walk. It's good to walk in groups of maybe two to four people when possible, especially if you're not familiar with an area. It's also good to plan your routes ahead of time. Having a small map, maybe a list of several streets, it helps clarify any confusion and make sure everybody knows what's happening and where to go. So you may also want to take a small Bible. Pray scripture in certain areas. Now there's no need to bring your big study Bible from home. Small Bible, Bible app is absolutely sufficient. Also, it's good to carry some information about the church if an opportunity arises to invite someone. So as you walk, keep your eyes open and be observant. Ask God to let you see through His eyes and pray His heart over people. When it comes to prayer, it's good to pray out loud and silently. If praying out loud, do so in a quiet, conversational voice. And if you're praying silently, let your team know what you're praying about. Either way, try not to call attention to yourselves. Now that brings up another point. Be sensitive when taking pictures or staying in one place for too long. Taking pictures of homes or people or streets can bring some unwelcome attention. Be sensitive to how your actions could be taken by others. And if anybody asks what you're doing, be prepared to respond. We're praying God's blessing on this neighborhood and city. And then maybe ask, is there any specific way that we can pray for you? You want to be on scene without making a scene. Hopefully that makes sense. Also, walk slowly as you pray. This allows you time to observe Cover the community in prayer. Wear appropriate clothing for walking and also plan to walk maybe in half an hour or so. So if anyone in your group is not able to walk, they can prayer drive around the neighborhood instead. Afterwards, gather together with the team, share your observations and experiences. What did you learn about the neighborhood? How did God lead you while you were prayer walking? So those are some of the basic guidelines for prayer walking. Now, what can you pray for? Here's just a sample of some common needs. Pray for people, pray for marriages, families, businesses, government, and leaders. Pray for police officers, firefighters, and first responders. Pray that churches will be effective in reaching their communities for Christ. 
Pray for the hearts to be open to the gospel and that God's people will live on mission in that area. Whenever you walk past a school, pray over the teachers, the administrators, the students. Pray for revival, spiritual awakening for the city. Pray that God removes spiritual blinders and the barriers that hinder people from knowing Christ. Pray God's blessing over people, over homes, and also over businesses that you may encounter. It may be that you take time to even praise God for what you see. You may see people out serving each other. That's great. Or maybe a church parking lot that's full or a family that's laughing and playing in the yard. If there's something good, if it's pure, if it's worthy of praise, thank God for it. Ultimately, you're praying on sight with insight. Allow God to lead you. And remember, what you're doing matters. God often responds in proportion to how we seek Him. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for your willingness to serve others through prayer. It's a good day to pray.